This is Colin O'Keefe here once again for LXBN TV. Last week, the White House released two reports on big data and its uses. Joining me now to explain the potential impact of the first report from the White House Big Data Working Group, we bring in attorney Jeff Kossip. He is based in Washington, D.C. with Covington and Burling and is an author on their superb blog, Inside Privacy. Jeff, let's start first with the consumer side of things. Uh, what does this report potentially mean for big data's impact on consumers? Well, what it means is, and this is really interesting, uh, the way that privacy law has really worked for consumers for the past decade has been based on notice and consent. So basically, if a website informs consumers of its privacy practices, consumers consent to it and it's okay. That's how, it, that's how it's worked for a decade or so. Uh, what this what what this report is basically suggesting is that that model doesn't really work in the big data universe with exponential growth in the number in the amount of data that's being collected, used, and shared about consumers. So what this report is basically saying is that consumers should have more control over how that data is used. So don't focus as much on the collection of the data, but let the com consumers have choices over how it's used and who it's shared with. So that's really the big takeaway for consumers from this report. I see, very interesting. And then, then second, these reports are naturally just reports, but they do hint at uh, potential regulation to come in the future. So speaking to that, uh, what does this specific report mean for corporations and companies with regards to their collection and use of data? Well, the biggest um, suggestion is really a national breach notification law, uh, because right now there are 47 state data breach notification laws that have all different types of requirements. And what the White House is basically proposing is one national law that basically if there's a data breach, uh, companies would have to follow that federal law to notify customers in certain situations. Um, the problem is there really aren't that many details in the report about what would be in that law. So companies, it's really hard for companies to know whether this would be better than the existing system or worse. but. I know at least some companies out there are saying, you know, it would be much better to only have one federal law to comply with than 47 different state laws. Um, so that's the, that's the big potential regulation. And what's really interesting about the report is it focuses on certain areas like healthcare and education uh, that have particularly sensitive types of data. And what the report is basically saying is we're not going to treat all types of data the same. Uh, if it deals with children's educational data, what they're doing in school, your health data, um, what the report recognizes is that in the era of big data, companies are figuring out all different kinds of ways to use the data, often for the public good. But what the report's saying is there has to have to be controls on this data and there has to be a way for consumers to be able to control how that data is used. So. What the report basically suggests is we won't treat all types of data the same. So purchasing a cup of coffee at a restaurant isn't going to be the same as going to a doctor. And that, I mean, that's pretty much what, what the report gets at is that we really have to look at how the data is being used. And the one other thing, um, there, there's a whole field called predictive analytics uh, that basically uses algorithms to, pre to basically predict often very accurately, very detailed information about people. And what the report says is, you know, this has great potential. It doesn't automatically criticize that predictive analytics or any algorithms, but it says we have to make sure that it's being used in the right way. Uh, the report uses the phrase digital redlining. So basically saying we can't use this to discriminate against people. We have to use the data responsibly. Mm -hmm, definitely. There's a lot being used with big data right now. and Companies are, of course, uh, being more and more careful with regards to breaches and that type of thing. But still, it, it is interesting and it is good to see uh, the government start to be a little bit more proactive on this front. Uh, once again, that was attorney Jeff Kossip. He is with Covington and Burling, and you can find more of his insight on this report and other subjects in this area, again, at InsidePrivacy.com. Thanks for joining me today, Jeff. Thanks a lot.